there once lived a young prince in a land far from his home. He had reached that age, as all princes do, where it had been time for him to leave his parents' home and seek out the most beautiful princess in the world as his bride. As it happens, he had done just that. One day out riding, he'd heard the sweetest singing coming from a high-walled tower, covered in the tangled thorns of the most beautiful roses he had ever seen. Far up above him, he could make out the princess of his dream standing at a window at the tower's peak. Surely this was she. But after circling the tower, he could find no doorway inside. How will I ever reach her to make her mine, thought he. Ah, if he could hear her singing from all the way down on the ground, then surely she could hear him if he simply called out to her. Hark, princess, cried he with all his might. But the princess was far too occupied with her singing to hear him. And besides, she wasn't expecting any visitors in her high tower. Disheartened for only a moment, it seemed to the prince the only way up would be to climb the many rose-covered vines that twisted their thorny way up to the princess's perch. Though the thorns cut deep, the young prince started to make his way up the tower, inch by inch. About halfway, he noticed how tattered his fine garments had been made by the thorns and how many cuts and scratches they had left on his face. Surely this is no way to meet my princess for the first time, thought he. Slowly he descended to the ground once again and sat alone for a long time by a nearby brook, cleaning himself up and wondering if he could ever get the princess's attention. Suddenly, he heard a loud thunder crushing through the forest. Riding atop the most brilliant white steed came another handsome prince, adorned in perfect shining silver armour. The princess stopped her singing at once. Without haste unfurled a long rope ladder down the side of the tower and beckoned him forth as he drew near. In moments he was up the tower, united with his love, and she fell into his arms in a long, passionate embrace. Within days, the happy two were married, and once the many jubilant celebrations were done, the couple's wealth, kindness and love became renowned throughout all the lands. And like magic, their every new day proved even more beautiful than the last. And they lived happily ever after.